what is going on guys so rocks was confirmed that the next gt line dlc is going to be releasing on tuesday december 10th for ps4 ps5 xbox series x and s xbox one and pc players and it's going to be called the agents of sabotage the rocks has also given us some artwork as well as a short trailer that we're going to be breaking down in this video including some hidden details in any case, if you enjoyed this video, please drop a like, and if you like GTA videos like this, consider subscribing. Let's get right into it. Starting with the artwork and going from left to right, in the top left, we have a scene, likely a mission, taking place in Ratten Canyon. In fact, this is actually the same location where a robbery or a train robbery took place in story mode with Michael and Trevor. There is an explosion happening in the sky. In fact, it's a little interesting because it looks like a vehicle collides with a helicopter so I'm not really sure how that happens whether it somehow jumps off of the cliff there and collides with the helicopter or ramps on something I'm not very sure but it is a Mesa as well as a Valkyrie which is likely meaning this is Meriwether also at the bottom we have a vehicle that was released in the arena war update the Scarab based off the Ripsaw EV2 now it looks pretty much the same including the customization on it that is already in the game however I would assume there's going to be a new version of it or at least something new to the one we already have otherwise there really wouldn't be a reason Rockstar would be advertising it. In the middle there are three people two of which look to be players. Now the one on the left is holding what looks to be just the regular pistol in fact even the clothing they have on I believe is one or items from the doomsday update the one in the middle looks to be holding a weapon that resembles the military rifle however the rifling and barreling does appear a bit different it also has a finish on it that the military rifle currently does not have so this could be a new weapon related or similar to the military rifle or it could also maybe be the military rifle with a new finish similar to what we saw with the bottom dollar bounties update through the career progress where the stun gun received a new finish and on the right we have a brand new character Jody Marshall who is going to be the rogue FIB agent guiding us through these robberies alongside Pavel who is a character from the Kyra Preco Heist DLC and it looks like he finally got out of the submarine also a lot of us thought that Dave Norton was going to be the rogue FIB agent guiding us through these robberies but I guess that is not going to be the case Moving on to the top right, we have a player who looks to be standing inside of the Darnell Bros Garment Factory property with some computers in the background. He's also wearing a hoodie with some symbol or symbols on the back of it, which may be the symbol for this new business that we're going to be running. He's holding an item, which whether this is like something that was stolen during a mission or a trophy, more speculation on this from the trailer. It is very similar to the one stolen during the story mode mission the rail that I mentioned earlier with Michael and Trevor robbing the Meriwether train who knows it may even be that mission where we receive this item as a teaser Easter egg however what is more interesting is the item that is on the table it's a reference to Vice City there were a hundred of these scattered around the map and if you collected all hundred of them you'd earn cash RP unlock things among other items this also may be a trophy or something stolen however it is very interesting that Rockstar chose this item and the fact that it is from Vice City probably teasing us because we just want more information about GTA 6 moving down to the bottom left we have a player that looks to be running a salvage operation on a crashed cargo ship in fact we have another look at what may be this mission during the trailer in fact it seems very similar to the mission from GTA 5 story mode minor turbulence where Trevor attempts to rob a cargo plane or Meriwether's cargo plane to be specific and he ends up getting shot down by the Air Force it crashes into the Alamo Sea and then he's able to run a salvage operation or collect weapons from it if he dives down to where the plane crashed this mission could be very similar and lastly on the bottom right we have a new vehicle a new bravado banshee based off of the fifth generation dodge viper we did get a little look at this when rockstar initially teased 
information about this update. It also looks to be being chased by a vapid Stanier police vehicle. However, typically this only occurs if a player is driving it. And this location appears to be the tunnel that runs under Fort Zancudo. Moving on to the short trailer, we're going to start with the characters as well as the property. We have Pavel, which was introduced in the Kyoprico Heist DLC. He's dressed very similarly. This time he has a coat on, which is kind of odd considering he's in Los Santos. Maybe it's just for show. To the right of him is a player. This is likely during the introductory cutscene after you purchase the Darnell Bros Garment Factory from Maze Bank Foreclosures. And to the right, we have Jody Marshall, the rogue FIB agent, who's also going to be working alongside us during these robberies. We have another scene of her in the trailer where we get a more direct look at her or her face. It's also interesting to the left of her, there's a keypad, which may just be for show. However, maybe there's a purpose for it that we can use in the property. And to the right looks to be a TV with surveillance footage on it. However, what's interesting, it looks like it is split into four screens where typically, usually, for example, like cameras and properties, you have to swipe through to see each camera. So if these are cameras surrounding the Darnell Bros Garment Factory, maybe we won't have to actually swipe through. We'll be able to see all screens at once. I could also see this being surveillance for maybe a mission we are currently completing or a robbery. I believe the facility property also is a little bit similar during different missions in the Doomsday Heist. However, I would say that it would rather be cameras for the property. But again, we just have to wait and see. Here's another scene with both characters helping us during this DLC. Pavel and Jody Marshall together. This is inside the Darnell Bros Garment Factory. We can see in a cooling machine in the background that is going to be usable. There's also servers in this property and there's some other scenes during the trailer that show servers. Some of which it looks like we're going to be swiping data from during a robbery or robberies. We might even be returning to the new server farm. There also may be a new hacking system that's pure speculation but it kind of made me think of a possibility of that given the symbol that was shown at the end of the Newswire article. Here looks to be the office area inside of the Darnell Bros Garment Factory property where we're going to interact with the computer here. It actually reached Darnell Inc. and that's the admin login. We're likely going to be able to start these robberies. Rocks are also mentioned in the previous article about this update. There was going to be an app where we could also start and play these robberies from. Notice also the trophies five of them in total along the desk. In fact, two of which were seen in the artwork. One of them, again, being a Vice City reference. These likely will have to be earned for completing certain missions or robberies because there's another frame in the trailer where a player is sitting at the same desk and there are no trophies there. You can also see Pavel sitting on the couch, likely meaning he'll be hanging around the property. There is a snack dish on the table there for us to quickly fill up our snacks. I also noticed there was a gun locker in the very back, which many properties also have. There also are new vehicles seen in the trailer, including once again the new Bravado Banshee based off the 5th generation Dodge Viper, a new Dinka sedan that seems to resemble that of the 9th generation Honda Accord, as well as an upgraded Dinka Jester RR, which appears to be a Benny's wide body version which would be the third of its kind introduced into the game, and also a police variant of the Invitero Coquette D10. Rockstar did mention that there was going to be new dispatch missions introduced in this DLC. I'm assuming they are going to be similar to those that were added with the bottom dollar bounties update. Outside of the Darnell Bros Garment Factory property, you notice there's a terabyte with a new FIB livery. Now this could be a new modification or it also could simply just be a career progress unlock reward. Nonetheless, Rockstar did confirm previously there were going to be new upgrades available to the Terabyte, one of which is going to be a new collectible scanner to more easily find collectibles such as the Daily G's caches. There is a frame with players interacting with the inside of the Terabyte. However, I didn't notice anything specifically different inside of the interior. It's likely going to be on the screen or on the terabyte scanner 
The other three vehicles shown outside the Darnell Bros garment factory have already been shown on the trailer, including the back of the new Bravado Banshee, the back of the new Dinka vehicle, likely based off the ninth generation Honda Accord, as well as the wide body version of the Dinka Jester RR. There are some RC Benditos speeding down Vinewood Boulevard. Now, the one shown is already an existing one in the game. It's actually the Trophy Truck Combined Lid. However, maybe there'll be some updates to the RC Bandito, including maybe new time trials, races. I could also see them finally adding us being able to create races, or specifically RC Bandito races through the Rockstar Creator. The last few frames I'm going to show look to be missions we're going to be taking part in. One including looks to be like a type of smash and grab where we're smashing open a case. We're using night vision, which I don't really remember one of the last times we had to use night vision for a mission. I know the Humane Labs raid used it during the heist final, which was released back in 2015. There's a cargo plane which looks to be going down in the Alamo Sea with players flying away from it in the Tula, as well as a, another shot where there's players inside of a weaponized dinghy fighting over it looks to be the area where the cargo plane may have gone down this might be where we do our salvage for the wreckage it was seen in the artwork once again this seems similar to the minor turbulence mission in story mode also notice how the weaponized dinghy has five people inside of it now most missions in GTA Online only allow a max of four players with the exception of MC work so this could mean if these are all players these missions allow more than four to participate in them there's also a mission with the scarab shooting the mounted laser and it looks like it is inside of the chiliad missile base silo which was where the doomsday heist took place specifically act three it's also equipped with a mounted laser as well as what look to be kinetic mines both weapons are already available for this vehicle through the arena war workshop and that is pretty much everything in regards to the artwork and trailer there's a little bit of information on the newswire article however pretty much everything that i already stated in this video covers the few paragraphs on there definitely let me know what you guys think about this dlc are you excited about it i know a lot of us still want gta 6 trailer 2 or really any information in general for it i'm with you guys i do as well in any case, if you did enjoy this video, please drop a like and consider subscribing. As always, have a great day.